Now to your community focus at four. We are joined live in studio by Matt Weldon, the director of the Rhode Island Department of Labor and Training for our monthly interview. Thanks so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me back. We usually start our conversations with a little snapshot of what our numbers look like right now. This is another month of some encouraging news in terms of our unemployment rate though. That's right. Happy to report that Rhode Island's rate in June was 2.7%. That's tied for the lowest rate in recorded history, uh, going back to April and May of 1988. In fact, we've recorded the number since 1976, and this is as low as it's been. Uh, it's a good thing for Rhode Island. Are you surprised at all to see it reach uh, kind of a matching historic low? We've been going in the right direction for over a year now, and we knew that it was, we thought it could keep going lower, and it did. Uh, right now, the, the job is to keep that momentum going. Hopefully, that would be the good news, absolutely. absolutely. Um, so part of the latest round of numbers include uh, kind of a section, we were talking about it just before we came on camera, that are called Rhode Island-based jobs. Um, after a few months of growth in that category, the number kind of leveled out month to month. What do those represent? Well, those are jobs that are in Rhode Island. So okay. as opposed to someone that's a Rhode Islander that works out of state, these are jobs in Rhode Island that could be filled by Rhode Islanders or someone from another state. Uh, those, we've recovered now about 90% of the jobs that we lost during the pandemic. You know, we, we're holding steady right there at, the, at this moment. That's not a bad thing. It's a tight labor market. You know, we've been talking about that for some time. It's probably tough to fill jobs at the moment because a lot of Rhode Islanders are working. We have a record number of Rhode Islanders themselves working, 556,200 people, more than ever in recorded history. So, so not a bad thing that that number hasn't moved much. That represents good news, essentially. Right. We'd like to see it move. We'd yeah. like to see more people working in the future. But right now, the numbers are pretty strong. Encouraging as well. So uh, specifically through the pandemic, we heard a lot of conversations in, in many different aspects about equity, access to resources in a number of ways. Uh, your office is receiving a little over $2 million now to focus, uh, it's in grant money to focus on equity. How do you w envision that money being used now? So I'm thrilled about that grant. It's $2.3 million to yeah. come from federal resources back into Rhode Island to help us improve access to unemployment programs. Unemployment is everyone's system. And for too long, some communities in Rhode Island have had difficulties accessing it. And so this money is going to help us add bilingual staff. We already have some, but we'll enhance that presence. It's also going to help us translate documents, provide better multilingual web services, and engage with community resources to help us know where we should be making investments. It, it's a long time coming. It's a good resource, a lot of work, but we're happy to do it. And I imagine a big part of that is then letting those communities know that you have these resources. Absolutely. Like it's all layer about layer. making sure the system works for them, but bringing the system to them, to as, them well. as well. Equity is about intentional investment. And when I got the DLT and I got this job, you know, I said two things. I want to serve all rounders well, and I want to make intentional investments and focus on bringing mm -hmm. equity to all of our programs. This grant will help us do just that. Any kind of time frame for a project like that? That's they typically run endeavor. over a couple of years, okay. uh, sometimes a little bit more. This is a down payment on a lot of work to come. Great. You, you like to work hard. We do know that about you. Uh, so uh, obviously, I'm going to set this up by saying you're not an economist, uh, right. but I imagine you are keeping a close eye on kind of all the conversations about a possible recession, the direction we're going in. Uh, what are you watching? What indicators are you keeping an eye on? So you're right, and I typically try to stay in my lane uh, because <laughs> I can easily get myself in trouble. But I just look at the labor market itself, the data yeah. that we report month to month, unemployment claims. You know, we're down, we're around 6,000 claims, a little more, a little less on some weeks. That ebbs and flows naturally throughout the year. Pre-pandemic, for the 10 weeks in a good economy, heading into the pandemic, we averaged just over 10,000 claims. Wow. So we're low right now. Okay. When that number ticks up and it's not due to seasonal use, mm. then we'll have some concern. But at the moment, we're not concerned. We hope that the, the momentum continues. And we have systems in place because of the pandemic. We know how to serve people better and quicker. We paid claims faster than any state in the country during the pandemic. Yeah. We'll have that experience at the ready when needed. We hope it's not needed. Learn from the experience. That's, That's all right. we can do, definitely. All right, Director Matt Weldon from the Department of Labor and Training, thanks for joining us. Thank you.